hey welcome back to my channel and um, a big thank you to everyone who is liking comment subscribing and um, it really means a lot so today's video is an unboxing of it's really heavy this month um my wow box so this will be the third and kind of last box in the three month subscription that I did um, and I've had a bit of issues with it um, if I'm honest it's not really been plain sailing so the first month um, item was missing box was a bit crap oh. second month box was really really it was better so much better um, the replacement item that was missing was missing still so it was like can't get that right so I did the very British thing and sent them a letter, I emailed them and was just like, look, I'm not being funny um, and I don't mean to come across as a cow bag, but it's taken two months, first, you know, nearly two, the first item missing a box, second one missing what was missing for the first box and then there was just a few little things that kind of, if it was my company, I'd want to know. You know, it, simple things that could be improved. You know, there was a piece of paper that was in there that basically told you the products. Um, so the bottle of wine I got was supposed to be um, a white, I think, and it was a rosé. Neither here nor there. But then the packet of crisp was supposed to be one flavour. It was a different flavour. And every kind of item that was supposed to be a particular flavour was a completely different flavour. And then you rev as you review your box you get like credits so then you can put that towards new items and a, a pick of items to put back into your box which i did and of course then you know i expected like mint aero kind of bubbles and i ended up with malteser buttons now they were great but you know something simple as out of stock replacement scent so for me, I did send them an email just looking, look, look, this, you know, if, you, if you've not got the right flavour of stuff, don't put flavours down. Just put, you know, Walker's Chris and the four flavours, at which point it's potluck what's in the box. And somebody's not going to be like, well, I should have got a chicken one and I've now got jalapeno and cheese. So that was my kind of email. I did get an email back. Um, the woman that emailed me was like really apologetic, kind of, kind of understood, well, did understand where I was coming from, said that she apologised, had been issues with packing. So, you know, fair dues. So I've kind of left it at that. Will I be resubscribing? I'm not sure. They have just kind of changed their subscriptions. So it's more kind of set out because it was a bit confusing to begin with. Um, so I think now they've kind of give themselves a wobble or give the red a wobble and kind of got a bit more um options so it's definitely worth a look i'm not sure whether i'm going to subscribe again i may give them a little kind of wide berth for a little bit and let them get themselves established again or kind of get themselves sorted and maybe come back anyway my last box for my three month subscription and again i think i paid like 31 pound 90 something three months so i got one month free paid for two months paid um for posting and packaging right this box is really really heavy i mean i know i had quite a few points kind of left over so i did buy a few bits to go in it um right so march box alcoholic no, nothing needs to be said on that. So I did actually put a few bits in extra. Okay, let's see what's there. So. We've got a fusion, like, Maggie noodles, spiced curry. Mmm, authentic Asian noodles. Uh, Maggie ones, they're like the shake and bake bags. Um, I didn't know Mad Maggie was a Nestle brand though. So sweet, uh, Maggie Fusion noodles, chow mein, chow mein and sweet chili, spiced curry. <sighs> okay, so it does say a different flavour, but who cares? I guess. So I got a spiced curry one. Pete will love these. 
don't really i like um i'm a super noodle person if i'm gonna have noodles maybe i should try it so there's actually two in here and 119 gram pots this one is a chow mein flavored noodle as well so they're really kind of good for snacks and i think it's one of those ones that you just add hot water fill up to line and wait for four minutes they're really really easy i do kind of like usually have some of these in i've not tried the maggie ones though i don't think Okay. Next we have, I don't know if you can see that one very well, the McCoy's Muchos. I've not heard of these Muchos. They are folded crisp tortilla snacks, nacho cheese. Oh, I like cheese crisps and I do, I'm a muncher, I do like kind of I'm either like cheese, I have like a sweet day and a savoury day some days, but yeah, I quite like the idea of these. I've not tried these. And that is an 80 gram pack, so we will have fun eating these between me and the kids. Okay. We have Get More Vits, Still Water, Mango and Passion Fruit, Vitamin D. Sugar free, only five calories per bottle. I do like mango. I like mango and passion fruit. I really, really do. So I've not tried the Get More of it. I've not tried that brand either. Um, and I don't think I've heard of it. So it, um, vitamin D helps you to keep the right level of calcium in your blood. So you've got vitamin D, calcium, natural flavors, and sugar free, low calorie still, mango and passion fruit flavored drink with sweeteners. Mm, I've not tried that before. I do like flavoured waters and they always come in handy. We're going away on Friday. Um, I say not anywhere spectacular. It's not like we're going abroad or anything. We're just nipping back up north to kind of see the family. So it is good because we're going to see all my friends, nieces and nephews. Um, but it's not like we're going like abroad, abroad or like holiday, holiday. But it's always lovely to see the family. So I'm getting excited. So drinks come in handy. And I have another one. So again, it's from the same people, get more vits, multivitamin water. So this is in lemon and lime. I'm not really a lemon and lime pe um, person, um, but Pete is, so that will be something he can try. One, two, three, four. So I had two drinks, two snacks. Not bad. Okay. What is that? can't say it Riva R-I-V-A is that on the list oh it's by new Kit Kat senses hazelnut bar that doesn't look like a Kit Kat a delicious chocolate and hazelnut wafer wafer bar with chocolate and hazelnut 33 grams new Kit Kat senses Hazelnut bar, that can't be it, surely. That's not Kit Kat. Is it made by Kit Kat? Who makes Kit Kat? That's a question, actually. That's me asking a question I'm not going to get an answer to. Um, I would assume if it says new Kit Kat senses, it would look like a Kit Kat. Hazelnut bar. But then it is hazelnut. Either way, I've got hazelnut chocolate. But. I have two of them. Oh, scratch that. I found the Kit Kat. Okay. Ignore this for a second. Kit Kat Sensatious Hazelnut Bar. That makes perfect sense. Um, happy looks like a Kit Kat as well it's got like three little it's either broken or it's got like three little bits to it really like hazelnut really like hazelnut then brings me to these two they're not on my list they're not on the list I'm going to put them there and see if I find them on the list later Okay. What 
what's next? What's on the list? Let's go what's on the list. This is the wine. So this time I've got an Echo Falls White Fruit Fusion with peach and mango. I quite like peach and I like mango. So yeah, I've not tried this. I tried um, a more kind of summer berry one of these and it, was, it wasn't very nice. It, well, it, was, it wasn't to my taste, so I will try that. And then I have a repeat item, um, a repeat of a repeat item of a Michelob beers. However, I'm not going to complain. This was in my first box. Hadn't tried it before. Really, really liked it. Second box, decided to choose one to go in it. Third box, it's on the list to be in my box, which is great because I really, really like them. And I chose one to go in when I did it with my points. So I have two bears. So as I know I like them, I'm not really going to complain. Now, the Echo Falls, the Michelob, the two bottles of water, the crisp, the two noodles and the Kit Kat Sensations is what should be in my box. And obviously what I added to it, I think I added to it was the beer, which is great. Um, oh, damn you. So a yes bar, but I added the sea salt and almond S yes bar because I was supposed to have this in the last box and they sent me the cranberry and dark chocolate, which is what they have resent me. So they clearly didn't have the flavor I want. I'll try it again. I wanted the sea salt one, but hey. This time we have um, a firefly peach and green tea. There's no way in hell I picked that. Oh, it various bottle drinks. Let's be honest, everybody knows that I would prefer to drink my own piss. Probably I would drink the neighbour's piss over drinking green tea. It doesn't matter what you flavour this stuff with, it's gross. Um, why would you taint peach tea with green tea? <sighs> However, like I say, to put it into perspective, this is my personal taste. There are lots of people out there that drink green tea. Pete will have that. Because I'm not. Either that or I'll pass it to the kids. Okay. Various. That's a problem. See, but there, if they put various, then you get various flavours. Not like when you specifically want a chocolate and sea salt bar and you get a cranberry one. I got a Kit Kat, but it didn't survive. I don't know if you can see how buggered that Kit Kat is. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, it's open now and there's bits kind of falling out everywhere. That was the ruby one, which I picked again because... I had it in my previous box. I was um and ah on the fence and I thought, oh, I'll try it again to see how I feel. And then I'm supposed to have a new Cadbury's Dark Milk, which wasn't for me. It was for Pete. However, I'm guessing they ran out, which is probably where these come into. So I end up with two Lavelle's Reviva Riva. I'm new a delicious chocolate and hazelnut wafer which i'm not mad at because at the end of the day i hate dark chocolate um so we might just not tell pete that the dark chocolate was him but i think i picked two of them for him because i had spare points so that's probably why i've got two bars so all in all my extras that i added in was the beer the not cranberry bar it's supposed to be sea salt and almond the Dark chocolate Cadbury bar, which turned out to be two hazelnut bars instead. Um, the various fly, firefly drink. And was that it? Oh, a ruby Kit Kat that is just like destroyed. So that was the, my added extras to use my points. And then what else I have in the box this month was the two drinks. Um, bottle of wine, 
and a Michelob beer. Like I say, it is a repeater, but I'm not offended by it because I really like it. The Kit Kat Hazelnut Sensations Chocolate Bar. A packet of uh, Mudjo's Nacho Cheese flavour. Not tried them. And two Snack Pots. So, um, I quite like that box. Um, obviously, it was flushed out by all my kind of points that had been rolling over. But the main core of it, um, there isn't really anything there that I didn't like. So, yeah. Um, not a bad box at all. Um, again, better than the first box. Probably on par with the second. Maybe a bit better. It's just a shame that I've had so many issues. I mean, it's like... Maybe I'm just a bit picky, but I get subscription boxes. So if something's on the list, it should be there. So like for me, the missing items was just a bugbear. It's like, really? You can't even get get it right? And then obviously the second time round, you're listing things and it's not that thing. So put various flavours. Put, you know, these are the flavours. And then what you get is kind of look of the draw. And again, same with the sea salt and almond snack bar. It's not a big thing, but put various flavors if i am picking a flavor i want what i've picked for because i'm paying for it so yeah this company is not that i mean it's not horrific they're not terrible they do a very pretty good job i just think there's a bit of refining to do um would i subscribe again yes but i would wait i would wait for a little bit of time for them to get themselves kind of sorted i don't know if it's a new box um, but I think they've got teething problems and that needs to be sorted. And I'd probably wait for another discount code and give it another crack. Um, so for me, out of 10, 7 in in respect with the boxes. Maybe 6 to 7 because there have been issues, but it's not put me off. So I'm going to go away. I'm going to drink my wine my beers or i'm gonna leave the waters to the weekend when we go away i'm gonna eat all the snacks with the kids and i have like a really good kind of munching sunday and yeah because it's mother's day so um happy mother's day to everyone that's out there um i hope you got some wonderful bits and bobs i was very lucky i got a lion we're having dinner cooks while well, lunch cooked the kids um, got me like lush bath bombs and got me a lush lip scrub and I've been waiting for that forever so oh, well I've been wanting one so yeah have a lovely day to all you mums out there um, and I will be with seeing my mum later today I'm going to take her out so take care like comment subscribe catch you soon bye